In this video, I'm gonna show you the formula I used to gain over 100,000 TikTok followers in a weekend, and how you can replicate this video structure for yourself to gain tens of thousands of followers, even if this is the first TikTok video you've ever posted. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm a marketer with a background in docu-reality TV and advertising. I started posting videos to TikTok earlier this year, and my follower count was just okay. Whether one of my videos would take flight on TikTok's For You page felt totally random. But a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video to TikTok and it grew my account by over 100,000 followers in one weekend. And while I can't say that I knew for sure that this video would blow up like it did, I had a pretty strong hunch that it would. Not because this was an incredible piece of art, I assure you it was not, but because it followed a proven formula that's helped multiple people grow their TikTok accounts by tens of thousands of followers. First, I'm gonna show you that TikTok video, and then I'm gonna break down how and why it works so you can replicate its structure to grow your own account. All right, here it is. Here's my biggest professional regret. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm a marketer with a background in TV and advertising. My career has taken me from the Bering Sea shooting on Deadliest Catch to going around the world working on campaigns for brands like Ford, Nike, and GQ, and for major label artists. My biggest regret has been not sharing with you guys all of these things that I've learned about tricks that marketers and advertisers like me use every day to influence people like you. You see, everyone's brain is hardwired to think and behave certain ways, and some people in my industry exploit that to get you to behave the way that they want. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be talking about how and why people people behave the way that they do and help you protect yourself against shady marketers who try to use your own brain against you. If you're into that kind of thing, feel free to hit the follow button and drop a comment with any questions. Like I said, it is not a groundbreaking piece of film. Okay, before I deconstruct this thing, here's a little context. I started watching some videos on TikTok growth and picked up a few good pointers that made perfect sense to me. One of the big ones you'll hear is about using the word you in the first sentence of your videos. This catches a viewer's attention and tells them that what they're about to hear is applicable to them it makes the viewer the main character. While this is a great tip and something I use in a lot of my TikTok intros, this video of mine that I'm breaking down for you didn't actually do that. Instead, for this video, I followed the advice of a TikTok creator named Caleb Chin. Caleb, who posts under the name Social Feed, has an excellent TikTok account about social media strategy and metrics. He had posted his own version of this video and grew from zero to 37,000 followers in less than four days. It was so successful for Caleb that he asked his followers to replicate this video's formula for themselves and to share the results with him so that he could try to better understand the TikTok algorithm. I'm one of several who have used this video formula to grow my following, but there are definitely more. Okay, the building blocks of this video that make it so successful are the following. A visual hook, an open loop, establishing authority, a value proposition, and a clear call to action. Let me explain what I mean by each of these, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of bonus tips that I think help make this video work so well for me. Number one is the visual hook or the hook shot. What this means is that you must do something at the start of your video to catch people's attention. With TikTok, this needs to happen within the very first second of your video, even the first frame. With my video, I use a speed ramp at the beginning using Premiere Pro to sort of fly into frame. I use this gimmick a lot, but that's by no means the only example of a hook shot. Get really creative here. Number two is an open loop or a curiosity hook. This is something said that sparks curiosity and drives a viewer's brain into wanting to seek out a conclusion. In the case of my video, it's the opening line. Here's my biggest professional regret. It keeps people tuned into the video to find out what my biggest professional regret might be. Number three is establishing authority. You need to tell viewers who you are and why you're somebody they should listen to. In my example video, I explain that I've worked with some big companies and with some celebrities they probably know. By attaching myself to these recognizable names, I'm building credibility with my audience. Now, I know that not everyone has a resume that they can lean on for this section, but honestly, you don't need to have had a big list of accomplishments. What's something that you've done in your niche that viewers would think is cool and would be something that they want to emulate themselves? Okay, let's say you haven't done anything yet that you think would build credibility with your audience. This is a great chance to tell them what you're going to do. Maybe something like, I'm Ryan and I'm out to prove that I can go from zero to a million followers on YouTube in a year or something like that. I think you get the idea. Number four is the value proposition. What is it that viewers will gain by subscribing to your account? In other words, what value are you gonna to provide to them? The motivations behind why someone might choose to follow your account are often the same as why people would choose to buy something. According to copyright expert Jim Edwards, the majority of people buy things for just one of a handful of reasons. People buy things to make money, save money, save time, avoid effort, or escape mental or physical pain. If you're promising viewers that by following your account, you can help them fulfill one of those basic human desires, you'll have a great shot at getting them to follow you. And number five is a clear call to action. Make sure that you clearly tell viewers what you want them to do next. In the case of this video, it's to leave a comment with any questions and to follow you. TikTok's algorithm seems to love comments and will push your video out to more users on the For You page if it has received comments. 
And when you do get comments, take the time to comment back or at least like those comments. Do whatever you can to keep people engaged with your video and its comments. It's only gonna help propel your video further. Even though the TikTok algorithm is a real mystery, it's also been speculated that you get rewarded based on your followers gain to views ratio, or FGV. In other words, if your video is shown to 100 TikTok users and 30 of them follow you, you'd have a 30% FGV. TikTok seems to reward videos that have a high FGV by pushing them harder on the For You page, which in my case had a snowball effect. I was gaining followers rapidly, and because I was gaining followers rapidly, TikTok kept showing my video to more and more people. Okay, here are just a few other pieces of advice to help your video succeed. Use quick cuts. I don't do this with all my TikTok videos, but for this video in particular, I'd recommend cutting away to B-roll early and often. As a general rule of thumb, try not to linger on the same shot for more than three seconds. This keeps viewers visually engaged with your content. Use a trending sound. It's never a bad idea to utilize a viral or trending song with your TikTok videos. It's widely believed that TikTok's algorithm promotes videos that feature trending songs. Create a bio that mirrors elements of the video. Just like in my video, with my bio, I'm building credibility by reiterating my professional background as a marketer and ex-TV and ad guy, and then I'm also teasing what this channel is about, which is my value proposition. And finally, make sure you have an eye-catching profile pic. When you tell viewers to follow you, you want that thumbnail to really stand out. Personally, I think having my image over a solid colored background makes it really pop. Color theory says that yellow on black has the highest level of contrast, and since I know that my shirts and my videos tend to be dark, Yellow is my choice to have the greatest level of contrast. I sincerely hope that these building blocks help you create your own TikTok video that leads to insane growth like it did for me. If you do end up following this template, please tag me on TikTok or leave a comment here and tell us how it worked out. I would love to see how you apply these concepts to your own video and to see if the TikTok gods smiled on you like they did for me. Leave me a comment with any questions and subscribe to this channel for more marketing psychology insights and actionable stuff like this that can help you with your own marketing.